What if the light in your bedroom while you're sleeping at night could quietly raise your risk of type 2 diabetes by more than 50%? New study followed nearly 85,000 people in the UK for about eight years. Researchers strapped light sensors to their wrists and recorded 13 million hours of real-life light exposure day and night. Then they looked at those who developed type 2 diabetes. Here's what they found. Compared to people with the darkest nights, those exposed to more light while they slept had a 20 8 to 33% higher risk of developing diabetes. Go up a notch in brightness and that risk jumped 39 to 44%. The brightest group, those with the most nighttime light, had a 53 to 67% higher risk. Why? Bright light at night, especially blue light from LEDs like street lamps, TVs and phone screens can throw off your circadian rhythm. That's the body's master clock. That rhythm controls hormones like melatonin and cortisol, but it also influences insulin sensitivity and how your body manages blood sugar. Here's the good news. This is a risk you can actually control. Dim your bedroom lights an hour before bed. Use blackout curtains to block street lights. Keep your phone out of arm's reach. Swap bright LEDs for warmer bulbs in the evening and no night lights. Dark bedroom might just be one of the cheapest health upgrades you can make. Light really impacts sleep and sleep impacts loads of other things. I can't say I'm surprised. I mean, 99% of people in the UK live in a light polluted area and 75% of people live in an area within the worst three categories of light pollution. The thing is, it's easy to control the lights and the screens inside your house, but those pesky street lights, bit trickier, isn't it? Blackout blinds, like Curo Lock, give you complete light exclusion. So they basically give you total control over the incoming light from outside. The thing I think that is maybe missing is that morning piece though. Because if you've got blackout blinds or blackout curtains, you're actually missing the kickstarting of your circadian rhythm. Now you can do that naturally by automating your blackout blinds or curtains so they open with sunrise, for example, so that, that triggers your circadian rhythm first thing in the morning, which is really important. But I do agree, dark bedrooms are good for your health.